Simplify the following expressions involving complex numbers. I start with case 1. 4 cos 46 degrees plus j sine 46 degrees times 5 cos 23 degrees minus j sine 23 degrees. We are familiar with four ways to represent a complex number. When we are multiplying or dividing complex numbers as it is the case with examples 1 and 2 here we have four forms to work with the rectangular form the trigonometric form the polar form and the exponential form when multiplying or dividing we prefer the polar and exponential forms trigonometric forms are okay so are rectangular forms when multiplying or dividing but if we have the chance to use polar form or exponential form we better take that chance in the example that we're dealing with here we have the two complex numbers in trigonometric form we prefer to convert them into the polar or exponential form when multiplying them I am going to use the polar form. In this example, in the first complex number, we have the value of r equal to 4 and the value of theta equal to 46 degrees. Therefore, the first number can be represented by 4 at 46 degrees. The second complex number needs to be modified before we can put it into the polar form. We note that cos of minus 23 degrees is the same as cos of 23 degrees. I encourage you to use the trigonometric circle to verify this and sine of minus 23 degrees is minus sine of 23 degrees as you can verify again using the trigonometric circle therefore I can say that 5 cos of 23 degrees minus j sine of 23 degrees is equal to 5 cos of minus 23 degrees which is the same as cos of 23 degrees and I can move the minus sign inside sine function to get j sine of minus 23 degrees therefore the polar form of the second complex number we're dealing with is 5 at angle minus 23 degrees now let's multiply these two complex numbers 4 at angle 46 degrees times 5 at angle minus 23 degrees this is equal to 4 times 5 the moduli of both numbers multiplied times 46 degrees plus minus 23 degrees the angles of both complex numbers added this simplifies to 20 angle 23 degrees we leave the answer as it is because we are not asked to provide the answer in any particular form let's now 
look at example 2. In example 2, we have 6 cos of 273 degrees plus j sine 273 degrees divided by 3 cos of 114 degrees plus j sine 114 degrees. Because we are dealing with division, we prefer the polar or the exponential form. In this case, I'm going to use again the polar form. The polar form of the first complex number is 6 at 273 degrees divided by the polar form of the second complex number is 3 at 114 degrees. Once we divide these two, we would have 6 divided by 3 as the modulus of the result. And for the angle, we would have the difference between the angles of the two complex numbers. This simplifies to 2 at the angle 159 degrees. We'll leave the answer as it is because we are not required to provide it in any particular form. Let's now look at the third example. 24.1 at 51.4 degrees plus 12.2 at 30 degrees. When we are adding or subtracting complex numbers, we can work with four different representations of a complex number. These are rectangular, form, trigonometric form, polar form, and exponential form. When adding or subtracting, we prefer rectangular or trigonometric forms. It is indeed very difficult to add complex numbers in polar or exponential forms. In the example that we're dealing with, we're given with two complex numbers in polar form. We convert them into trigonometric form or rectangular form, and then we add them. Note that adding two complex numbers is the same as adding two vectors. We know that complex numbers can be associated with vectors. Adding vectors can be done if we use either the component method or if we use the sine and cosine laws to add the two vectors. We can see that adding complex variables is as sophisticated as adding vectors. Now we convert these two numbers into their trigonometric representation. We would have for 24.1 at 51.4 degrees, 24.1 cos of 51.4 degrees plus j sine of 51.4 degrees. Then we add to that 12.2 at 30 degrees, which is 12.2 at cos 30 degrees plus j sine 30 degrees. The first number has a real part and an imaginary part. The second number, 2, has a real part and an imaginary part. I add the real parts together and I get 24.1 cos 51.4 degrees 
from the first number and 12.2 cos 30 degrees from the second complex number. This would be the real part of the answer. The imaginary part of the answer is J times 24.1 sine of 51.4 degrees plus 12.2 sine of 30 degrees. The first part coming from the first complex number and the second part coming from the second complex number. This is our answer, but we can also use the calculator to reduce to reduce this to decimal form. We would get 25.6 plus J 24.9. We can leave the answer in rectangular form as we are not required to convert it into any other forms.